Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Nobara Linux 39, a wonderful variant of the Fedora Workstation Linux, which is also known as the developer's distribution. But today, Nobara Linux 39 is known for its amazing gaming capabilities because it was tailor-made to game on Linux. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Nomura 39 brings with it a ton of improvements, including NVIDIA driver updates, Wayland compatibility updates, game scope improvements, cleaner SteamOS handling, and much more. Now, before we talk about that, let's give you a brief overview of the Nobara desktop. So below we have the status bar or the task bar, and to the left we have a start screen, different applications as you can see, and we have graphics, internet, multimedia, if you install this distribution and if you're coming from Windows, there is no dearth of applications that you will ever need that's not going to satisfy you. Unless you use something such as Premiere Pro or maybe, I don't know, some other proprietary software that's only available for Mac and Windows and you really can't make the jump to, let's say, DaVinci Resolve that's available on Linux, then, well, this isn't for you. And, but you can still enjoy this distribution by having it installed as a secondary operating system. The choice is yours. So let's go through these. Uh, so you have administration, a few firewall language settings, development, you have Kate, education, LibreOffice math. The most interesting is gonna be under games. So they do provide Steam out of the box and also they have G overlay, Steam host remote play, Lutris, which is a fantastic software uh, in the Linux world. If you don't know, it aggregates all of your games from Steam, GOG, Epic, and even games that you have installed on your local machine, you can add to Lutris. You can specify which Proton or Lutris Wine version you're gonna run it with so that your game runs the best and it has a bunch of other compatibility stuff. You can check out my older video on Lutris. This is a fantastic piece of software for running games on Linux. You also have Proton Up QT, which is a cute tool uh, it actually helps you to manage and update different versions of Lutris Wine, Proton, etc., etc., so that you are always using the latest version to play your games. Okay, so with that out of the way and uh, without wasting time, uh, let's just jump right in into what's new this time around. And by the way, I love the default wallpaper. It just, it, it's just stunning, man. It's really stunning. So. As you can probably notice, if you are familiar with Nobara, they are shipping with KDE Plasma. Now, this has this move from GNOME to KDE Plasma was made by Glorious Eggroll and his team. I'm not sure if he has a team or if this is a one-man job for him. He's an excellent engineer at Red Hat, and this is kind of his hobby. So the main reasons for going with KDE Plasma instead of GNOME was actually variable refresh rate or FreeSync functionality, which in GNOME still has to be patched in, but KDE Plasma supports this feature inherently. You also have DRM leasing for VR games. So if you are somebody who owns a virtual reality headset and if you are and you are into Linux gaming with a VR, DRM leasing is a feature which is well implemented in KDE, but faces some challenges in GNOME. You also get fractional scaling and integration with Steam, which is really good. Now, fractional scaling support is actually really good. I'll open system settings and let's see, let's go over to display, I guess. I haven't used KDE in so long, I'm not totally sure, but let's go search real quick display configuration i believe this would be and yes so you have a hundred percent this is integer scaling and you can enable that with fractional scaling this is pretty good by the way so in this version nobara ships with kitty plasma version 5.27 uh, frameworks version is 5.11 and the kernel version is 6.6.7203, which is, I guess, the latest version. You can rely on the system always giving you the latest kernel, at least the latest tested kernel, so that your games are always flawless. This is especially important if you're on an Intel graphics card or an, in, or an uh, AMD graphics card, which have their drivers baked into the kernel, unlike NVIDIA drivers, which you have to download separately. Now, speaking of NVIDIA drivers, Nobara 39 introduces NVIDIA's new 554.29 drivers from the new feature branch, along with necessary patches for Wayland compatibility. 
You heard it right. Wayland is the default compositor for Nubara Linux 39, as you can see right here. And this is a big step and I absolutely love this. There are a few changes that have been made to OBS as well in Nubara Linux 39. So the AMD AMF encoder patch has been removed and it's no longer gonna be maintained, but in place, the FFmpeg encoder has been upgraded, providing superior performance and compatibility for various encoding formats. Furthermore, you have VK Capture, so which is the Vulkan Capture, because all Linux games use Vulkan to play the game, right? The, so the VK Capture is set to enabled by default, and there have been patching work done for native Wayland well support for GLFW, which is an open GL library, improving the overall user experience. You also get some improvements in the Welcome app. Let's see if I can welcome if I can open the welcome app because it crashed on me the last time. Not really sure what's going on, but if you install this in bare metal, I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be happening to you. Yeah, so it's not gonna open, but I'll put a screenshot over here. In Nobar 39, the welcome app has several changes and notably it now offers options for installing Steam games, fix-ups and DaVinci Resolve fix-ups. DaVinci Resolve, if you didn't know, is an amazing video editor, which is at par or even better than Premiere Pro, and it's available in Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So if you learn DaVinci Resolve and the free version, it has 95% of all the capabilities of the Pro version, so you can move your operating systems and no one's gonna know. And the app has also removed the need for AMD proprietary drivers reflecting advancements in the FFmpeg's Video Acceleration API or the VA API. Now, along with that, Nabara Linux 39 makes the move to Chromium. So they are ditching Firefox as the default uh, browser for the system. You can always go ahead to System Software Center, which is Discover in KDE. I mean, you can install Firefox if you really want to, but Chromium is a default. I really can't complain. You also have game scope session rebase and improvements. So Nobara Linux 39 introduces significant enhancements to the game scope session, and it also has integration with GDM and SDDM and streamlined session selection and closure processes. So all of these make for a really better uh, experience for uh, gamers on Linux. And another thing which has improved this time around, uh, speaking of games and uh, game scope and Steam, is you have better integration with the Steam pack with the Steam client. So Steam package enhancements are there, and uh, it also has a way upgraded support for the Steam Deck OLED version. So if you are someone who has the OLED version, I live in a country where the Steam Deck isn't available. And well, let's just keep my frustration aside for the video and talk about the Steam Deck OLED support. So if you have an OLED panel, uh, this DE is gonna take better, is gonna be able to better utilize the OLED support of your uh, Steam Deck. And it also includes DNF version five, which is supposed to be significantly faster. So that's something which is a huge plus for this distribution. And it seems to have crashed on me. Very cool. My laptop is very old, uh, seven to eight years at this point, and I really, I just can't afford to buy a new laptop right now. But anyway, moving on, we also have uh, a ton of other technical details and improvements to Nobara Linux 39. This is the best distro for gaming, like I said. If you wanna go ahead and check out, I'll put a link down in the description below the like button, wink, wink, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.